this is Matt from Firewalls.com. In this FortiGate tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to set up SSL VPN to connect to the FortiGate from outside of the network using the Forti client. Let's jump into the firewall and get started. The first thing that we need to do is configure our VPN settings. So, under VPN and SSL VPN settings, here we can set the listening interface, which will be the outside internet connection. If you have more than one WAN, you can select both here. The listen on port will be the port used for VPN connections to establish. The port that you specify here will be able to be logged into when using web mode access by going to the public IP. For this example, we're going to allow access from any outside host. If you know the public IP of people that will be connecting in, you can limit access here. We're going to use the predefined address range that's already pre-configured on the FortiGate firewall. We're not going to change our DNS settings, but if you have your own internal DNS server, I would recommend specifying those here. Now by default, we'll have all users set to where they can only log into the web access portal via the public IP. However, we want to create our own portal for our remote users group where we can allow a tunnel access using the Forty client. Click apply to save changes. Now you'll be prompted to set up an SSL VPN policy as one co currently does not exist. We're going to name this our SSL VPN to internal LAN access. The incoming interface will be the SSL VPN tunnel that has just been created that that is binded to the WAN interface. The outgoing interface will be the network on the internal that you want the users to access. In this case it will be our internal. Source we will specify as any, however we need to select our remote users group in order to identify users coming in on an inbound connection. And our destination we are going to use our internal network object which is our internal subnet service we will set to any and we do not need a NAT on in this kind of firewall rule. We're going to log all sessions and click OK. Now any user that is set up on the firewall that's in the remote users group should now be able to log in and access the web portal. Once logged in, you'll be prompted to download the Forti client in order to access the VPN. If it isn't already installed on the machine, you can download it here for your required operating system. Now, if you if you already have the Forti client installed, you can launch it here. You can also download the Forti client from the forticlient.com website. Once downloaded, we are going to run the Forti client installation. We're going to run through the installation setup wizard. Now that the Forti client VPN has been installed, we need to configure our VPN connection. Click here to configure VPN. Now this client is the VPN only installation. If you want the full Forti client package, you can download that from the Forti client website and ensure you select the full download, which includes the antivirus protection. Connection name will be test VPN. Our remote gateway will be the public IP of the firewall. We're gonna customize the port as we're using a custom port in order to alleviate the conflict with the WAN management port. I'm going to click save. I'm going to log in with my user account. I'm going to click connect. We 
we successfully connected to the VPN. I do recommend testing the VPN access from a hotspot connection to where you are testing as if you're outside of the firewall in order to be successful. Thanks for watching this video. For all things firewall related, visit us at firewalls.com.